Get ready for an extraordinary journey through the heart of Africa, where the past and present harmoniously intertwine, creating a tapestry of culture, history, and natural beauty that will leave you utterly captivated. Welcome to Ghana! Ghana is a country that beckons you with its lush forests, rolling hills, and a breathtaking coastline along the Gulf of Guinea. But its true beauty lies not just in its landscapes, but in the stories etched in its history and the vibrant culture that fills the air. Join us as we delve into the heart of Ghana, a nation that welcomes you with open arms, vibrant traditions, and an unbreakable spirit. Ghana's geographical diversity is astonishing. In the south, you'll find tropical rainforests teeming with unique wildlife. The region is home to picturesque rolling hills and valleys, while the north boasts the arid savanna landscapes. This wide range of ecosystems contributes to Ghana's biodiversity, making it a great destination for ecotourism. Ghana is blessed with a wealth of natural resources. Its coastline along the Gulf of Guinea offers abundant fish stocks and the rich soil of its interior supports agriculture, making it the world's second-largest cocoa producer. The Volta River, which runs through Ghana, powers the Akosombo Dam, a crucial source of hydroelectricity. The capital city, Accra, situated on the Atlantic coast, is a bustling metropolis with a mix of modern and traditional elements. It's a hub of commerce, culture, and history. Kumasi, the capital of the Ashanti region, is known for its vibrant markets and craft industries. Both cities offer a glimpse into the country's urban life. The Ghana Empire, not to be confused with the modern nation, was a significant force in West Africa during the medieval period. It was renowned for its advanced administration, guild metal workers, and the production of intricate gold artifacts. The wall from gold trade with North African and Middle Eastern merchants made it a powerful empire. The legacy of the Ghana Empire extends to present-day Ghana's name. It was derived from the old Ghana Empire, a reflection of its historical importance. Ghana's people take immense pride in their country's name and the historical roots it represents. Exploring Ghana's ancient history is like stepping into a time machine. Visitors can witness the remnants of old trade routes, stone fortresses, and the famous Ashanti Golden Stool, a symbol of their sovereignty and unity. Fortresses along the coast such as Cape Coast, Castle, and Ilmina Castle are chilling reminders of the transatlantic slave trade. Touring these sites provides a sobering look into the inhumane history of this trade and its enduring impact on the nation. The transatlantic slave trade left an indelible mark on Ghana. These colonial-era efforts, now UNESCO World Heritage Sites, bear witness to the horrors of this dark period. Many people from various African ethnicities were captured and held in these forts before being shipped across the Atlantic Ocean as slaves. Cape Coast Castle, for instance, has a haunting door of no return, symbolizing the point of no return for those who were forced into the slave trade. Ghana has transformed these painful reminders into places of reflection and education, ensuring that future generations understand the gravity of this historical chapter. Efforts to memorialize this history include the Year of Return in 2019, which encouraged people of African descent from around the world to visit Ghana, learn about their heritage, and pay tribute to the resilience of those who endured this ordeal. Today, the people of Ghana promote reconciliation and healing by welcoming visitors with warmth and open arms, a testament to their enduring spirit. Ghana's journey to independence is a story of inspiration and determination. On March 6, 1957, Ghana became the first African nation to gain independence from colonial rule. This pivotal moment in history was led by Kwame Nkrumah, whose dedication to Pan-Africanism and the African Liberation Movement is celebrated globally. Kwame Nkrumah's vision extended beyond Ghana's borders. He aimed to unify the African continent against colonialism and imperialism, leading to the formation of the Organization of African Unity in 1963, later transformed into the African Union. Nkrumah's speeches, including his famous, I am not African because I was born in Africa, but because Africa was born in me, continue to resonate with people worldwide, emphasizing the importance of African identity and unity. Ghana's independence marked a turning point for the African continent and inspired other nations to follow suit. The spirit of Pan-Africanism remains an integral part of Ghana's national identity. 
Ghana's flag with its black star in the center represents African freedom and is a symbol of the nation's role in the liberation of the continent. Ghana's cultural heritage is a dazzling tapestry of traditions, ceremonies, and celebrations that reflect the country's rich diversity. Each of Ghana's numerous ethnic groups contributes to the colorful mosaic that is Ghanaian culture. Ghanaians take immense pride in their traditional festivals. The Ashanti's Adai Kese, the Ga people's Homowo, and the Damba festival of the Gombas are just a few examples. These events are not only a showcase of vibrant dance and music but also an opportunity to pay homage to ancestors and celebrate the unity of communities. Traditional clothing plays a significant role in Ghanaian culture. The Kente cloth, with its intricate patterns and vibrant colors, has become an iconic symbol. But it's not the only fabric. Ghana boasts a range of textiles such as the smock worn by the northern tribes and the richly adorned batakari. Ghana's rich oral tradition is another cornerstone of its cultural heritage. Griots or storytellers pass down legends, myths, and history through generations. These stories provide a link to the past, preserving the wisdom and knowledge of the ancestors. Art and craft traditions flourish in Ghana. The country is known for its wood carvings, pottery, beadwork, and basketry. Skilled artisans create functional and decorative pieces that are prized both locally and internationally. Ghana's music and dance are the heartbeat of its cultural expression. The rhythms and melodies resonate with the soul, conveying stories, emotions, and the very essence of the Ghanaian people. One of the most iconic instruments in Ghanaian music is the talking drum. This hourglass-shaped drum can mimic human speech and is used to communicate across long distances, making it an essential part of storytelling and cultural expression. Traditional dances in Ghana are more than just performances. They are a way of life. The energetic and rhythmic movements of dances like Adoa, Kupanlogo and Agbadza are integral to ceremonies, celebrations, and rites of passage. Ghana's contribution to the global music scene is substantial. High Life, a genre that fuses Ghanaian and European musical elements, was born in the early 20th century and has evolved over time. Modern Ghanaian music, including Hip Life and Azonto, draws from traditional rhythms and combines them with contemporary sounds. The country's music industry is vibrant, with numerous recording studios, music festivals, and a thriving live music scene. Ghana's musicians have achieved international recognition and have fans worldwide. Kente cloth is a dazzling symbol of Ghana's cultural heritage. This hand-woven fabric is not only a source of pride, but also a representation of deep-rooted traditions and storytelling. Kente's origins are traced back to the Ashanti and Ewe people of Ghana. The cloth is woven on traditional looms, often by highly skilled artisans, and the process is a labor-intensive art that has been passed down through generations. The intricate patterns and colors in Kente cloth have symbolic meanings. Each design carries a message, whether it's related to a proverb, a historical event, or an aspect of life. When Ghanaians wear Kente, they're communicating a message without words. Kente cloth is not limited to clothing. It's used in various forms, including stoles, scarves, and even home decor. It's a visual embodiment of Ghana's cultural heritage and is often worn during special occasions such as weddings, naming ceremonies, and festivals. In recent years, Kente has gained global recognition and is used in fashion, particularly during Black History Month and other celebrations of African culture. This has brought awareness and appreciation for this iconic fabric. Ghanaian cuisine is a delectable journey through flavors, spices, and culinary traditions. It's a fusion of local ingredients, cultural influences, and cooking techniques. One of the most beloved Ghanaian dishes is jollof rice. It's a one-pot meal made with rice, tomatoes, and an array of spices, often including chili peppers, ginger, and garlic. The result is a flavorful and colorful dish that is a favorite at gatherings and celebrations. Fufu and banku are starchy staples that accompany many Ghanaian dishes. Fufu is typically made from cassava or yam and is founded into a dough-like consistency. Banku, on the other hand, is made from fermented corn and cassava dough. They are served with soups and stews, providing a unique texture and flavor experience. 
Exploring Ghana offers a diverse range of experiences, from historical sites to vibrant cultural festivals and bustling cities. Here's a brief overview of some regions and cities in Ghana that are worth exploring. Kakum National Park Just outside Cape Coast, this park features a canopy walkway and rich biodiversity in the rainforest. Takoradi Takoradi is a thriving port city located in the western region of Ghana, known for its maritime activities and beautiful beaches. Takoradi Harbour Visit the bustling harbour to see the ships, fishing boats, and experience the lively atmosphere around the docks. Busuwa Beach Located nearby, it's a popular destination for sunbathing, surfing, and enjoying the stunning coastline. Kumasi Kumasi is the capital of the Ashanti region and the cultural heartbeat of Ghana. It's a city deeply rooted in Ashanti tradition and history. Kumasi Central Market This is one of the largest markets in West Africa and a vibrant hub for shopping and experiencing the Ghanaian culture. Mania Palace The official residence of the Ashanti King, this palace is open to visitors and offers a glimpse into Ashanti history and culture. Tamale Tamale is the largest city in northern Ghana and offers a unique cultural experience. Gurunsi Village Near Tamale, you can visit traditional Gurunsi villages to witness their distinctive architecture and a way of life. Tamale Cultural Festival If you time your visit right, you can participate in the annual Tamale Cultural Festival, a celebration of the rich traditions and music of the northern region. These are just a few of the many regions and cities in Ghana that are worth exploring. Ghana's rich history, diverse culture, and a natural beauty make it an exciting destination for travelers. Each of these places offers a unique perspective on the country's heritage and the opportunity to engage with the warm and welcoming people of Ghana. Ghana, Africa is a nation that mirrors its rich history with a vibrant and diverse culture. It's a place where the past is woven into the present and the future is guided by the resilience and spirit of its people. As you explore Ghana, you'll be captivated by the landscapes, enthralled by the history, and immersed in the warmth of its culture. From ancient history to modern innovation, Ghana continues to inspire and captivate visitors from around the world. Thank you for joining us in this immersive journey through Ghana, Africa. We hope you're inspired to explore this remarkable country's history, culture, and natural beauty. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to check out the other videos in this captivating series for more incredible destinations and stories from around the world. Until next time, savers!